This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Hi everyone, Ta here. If you've never heard of Samsung DeX, the idea is very simple. Just plug your phone in and it'll automatically display a computer-like interface on any external monitor. Basically, you're using your phone as a computer. The Uperfect X Pro Lapdog is a 15.6 inch 4K touchscreen display with a built-in 10,000 milliamp hour battery and a removable keyboard cover similar to what you'd find on the Microsoft Surface Pro. I have to admit, this might be the nicest portable display I've ever used, but it also costs 550 bucks. They do offer a 1080p version that's $100 cheaper, but that's still a lot of money for what's basically a really nice portable display. All right, the metal stand swivels out like this and lets you use the display at almost 90 degrees to completely flat like so. I really like the stand and hinge design a lot. It's very sturdy. There's also rubber feet at the bottom to stop it from sliding when you're using the touchscreen. But yeah, this is really well built and solid. Hidden behind the hinge are the ports, a headphone jack, USB-C, and menu controls on one side, and on the other, an HDMI mini and two USB-C ports, one for charging and one for video input. I like that you can have two things plugged into the monitor at once. For example, right now, I have both my phone and Nintendo Switch connected, and switching between them is nice and easy through the built-in touch menu. You can also plug a laptop into this and use it as a second screen, but if you already own a laptop, something like this seems a little excessive. So the keyboard attachment connects to the bottom via magnets. Now you have to align it perfectly for it to connect, which is a little frustrating because it does take some time as you can see, but you'll most likely keep it on most of the time. Because of this design, working off your lap is essentially not possible. I mean, you could do it, but I'd be constantly worried about this falling off and where the heck I'm supposed to be keeping my phone. That's one of my biggest annoyances with all the lap dogs I've tested in the past. They never seem to offer some sort of way for you to mount or store your phone. I mean, there's options, but I don't want to spend any more money than I have to. Give me an all-in-one solution, especially at this price point. Anyways, I'm ranting, but this is essentially an on-the-table type of device, which makes it a lot less useful when on the go. The benefit of a design like this is, of course, you can remove the keyboard cover whenever you don't need it. All right, so the keyboard is nice and roomy. The buttons actually have a good amount of key travel. They're actually quite clicky, which I like, but the problem is these aren't backlit, which I think is a huge letdown because you're paying so much for it. The other issue I have is that because my hands are relatively small, I do find that the keys are a little too spaced out for my liking. Like for example, compared to one of my favorite keyboards, just check out how much wider the keys are spaced out. Like this is so much wider than this. The keyboard itself has a really nice soft texture. There's a row of shortcuts at the top that you can activate by holding the function key like this. Here's the volume button. So they all work, but what's funny is that the brightness toggles here controls the brightness on the phone, as you can see, and not on the monitor. Yeah, it's really, really, really weird. If you want to adjust the brightness on the actual laptop, you have to go through the touch menu like so. So press the button here and then adjust it manually on the screen like that. The trackpad, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys, is not all that great. It's usable, but it's kind of small and there's no palm rejection, which is so frustrating because while I was typing, my palm would accidentally click on things all the time. So I had to disable it. Honestly, you're better off using the trackpad on your phone or just pairing a mouse. Like I said, the display is really, really nice. You've got tiny bezels on the three sides here and a much thicker one at the bottom. But what's crazy is just look at how thin this thing is. Like that's impressive. I gotta hand it to them. This thing looks really premium. Colors look good. You're getting 100% of the sRGB color space and it gets decently bright too. But yeah, this has a glossy finish. So reflections and fingerprints can be a bit of a problem since as you can see, this is a touchscreen. The touchscreen works pretty good. Just don't expect tablet-like responsiveness from it. But yeah, there is a slight delay as you can see. There's like maybe half a second delay. 
So for more precise work, it's gonna be really hard. But yeah, for managing windows and basic touch control stuff, this will do the job. This 4K version that they sent me is 100% overkill if DeX is your only use case for it. But man, 4K content looks really good on here if you can connect something that supports it. There are two upward firing speakers at the back here, which honestly isn't the best location, but these aren't half that bad. There's a lot of distortion at max volume, and in general, they aren't as good as the ones built into the Galaxy Z Fold 3, for example, but these get pretty loud. Usually speakers on portable monitors are like complete trash, but I can get by with these. I'd rate them like a six out of 10. You get a 10,000 milliamp hour battery built in that will power the monitor and charge your phone at the same time. Now, if you're not a fan of keeping your phone plugged in the entire time, there's a toggle in the touch menu to uh, turn that off. But yeah, I was able to completely drain the battery in about five and a half hours while using DeX. That included a lot of word processing, surfing the web, and a sprinkle of Netflix. Speaking of Netflix, did you know you can access different libraries of content from other countries? Well, with Surfshark, you can. So what Surfshark does is that it encrypts all your data before it goes over the internet. So people you don't want having access to your personal information won't have access to it, especially dangerous when using public Wi-Fi. One of my favorite use cases for Surfshark is to access content from other countries. With one click, I can access American Netflix, even though I'm located in Canada. So that's even more content for me to binge watch. With no limit to the number of devices you can connect at a time, this means you can keep your entire family secure too. Check out Surfshark now by Clicking the link below and using my promo code TAO, you'll get 83% off and four months completely free. Well, there's a lot I like about this product, but the answer for most people is gonna be no. Yeah, there's a lot of minor annoyances that you can't overlook since the price of this is getting really close to a tablet or even laptop money and you can do so much more on a laptop. This competes with other laptops that are built exactly like laptops. And I think those make way more sense when it comes to on the go productivity. I love the portable monitor aspect to it. This is easily one of the best I've ever used, but the keyboard attachment, especially the trackpad falls really short for me. This is essentially a tabletop device. And if it's mainly gonna live on your desk, you might as well pair a better keyboard and a mouse to it. Now, if you don't plan on being portable at all, you could also just spend the money on a full blown monitor. I would have loved it if they sold the portable monitor on its own without the keyboard attachment at a lower price. But then again, it would just be another portable monitor on the market. So they're kind of stuck in a weird place with this. If you guys are looking for a high quality laptop in this Surface Pro form factor, then yeah, this is one of the only options on the market. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here. Eek.